Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you do much furniture building or much woodworking at all, you're gonna have to have a good dado set and a good set of inserts, zero clearance, to make that blade work really well for you. Well, let me tell you about the system that I've come up with. Stay tuned and I'll walk you through it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. I love having a good dado set. We've had this CMT for a long time. Someday we may upgrade it, but it's serving fine right now. And as uh, you use um, a dado set in your table saw, obviously the factory insert that came with it. Now I have an old contractor saw someday, who knows, maybe a saw stop, but for right now, it's this right here, this old dude that we've had for a long time. And as you can see, that kind of insert's not gonna work for much of anything for fine, uh, furniture making, simply because it's not zero clearance or anything like that. And anything that is wider than that slot um, with a dado blade is obviously gonna cause damage and it'll be very dangerous. So you end up having to make other inserts. Now, I'm not gonna go into grueling detail here, but what I use is just standard half inch MDF. It's stable, it's flat, it's easy to mill. And I just start with a template. This is exactly the same width as that. I can feel it right beside there. It's just right, it'll fit right in the width of that. Um, so I make a bunch of blanks to begin with like this. And these holes are positioned so that they're gonna fall on the tabs in the throat opening and the table saw. And then I insert Allen screws into these after they're finalized that allow me to level these perfectly flush to the rest of the table. So they don't rock in there, they don't catch or whatever. As far as cutting the ends here, there's a couple things you can do. Probably the most well known is to take double sticky tape um, or simply take these and put this over here, draw circles around, use this as a, a, an arc and then use your uh, bandsaw to cut within an eighth inch of the line, keeping the outside, and then reattaching this some way to uh, either one of these you've done before or to this, and using a pattern bit to come up with the actual shape so it'll fit in the table saw. Now you're not done yet. You need a place to reach in to pull out the insert, and you need a way to hold it down uh, on the back end of the insert. So you can do a couple things. Either you can do this type of thing and drop in a washer, as you see right there, that stops it from lifting in the back. Or you can do another set screw that sticks out the back like that, that stops this from lifting on the back edge. Uh, and uh, as as the blade is coming forward from the back edge, it tends to lift the back, so you need to keep that flat in there. So that's kind of a quick way of, of um, making these inserts. But that's half of it. As you do more and more woodworking, you're gonna end up doing a lot of different sizes. Sometimes you're gonna have undersized or oversized plywood. Uh, you may have exactly something that uh, you need just a half an inch perfectly set, quarter, whatever it may be, you're gonna end up with a big set of these. But before we get to that, the trick that I use, once you've got something set up and you've cut this insert, that cut, it becomes index right there. I can use that to see what size material will go into it, what blade setup I need, and I write the recipe for uh, whatever that is right on the front. So in this particular case, quarter inch, it just uses the two outside blades of the dado set. This half inch, it uses the inner and outer, and they always do, plus two one eighth inch with no spacer. This one right here, this 17 30 seconds oversized plywood, uh, I've got written on the back side right there, but you can see here, there's a whole list of those of the little chippers uh, outside and a little spacer and that to come up with that 17 30 seconds that is just slightly oversized on half inch plywood for some of that um, plywood out there that's not uh, what it's stated. It actually is over or under. 
So that is really a quick way, that hard one measurement. Record it, give it a dedicated spacer, and now this becomes your template, your gauge, every single time you can get to work faster, more accurately by having these here. Now, something else that we're gonna do uh, is I'm starting to build a whole set of these. These can get overwhelming. Uh, I anticipate by the time I'm done, I probably have mm, 10 to 12 of these and I don't want them in a flat stack. I'm gonna work on an organizational schedule and, or, or uh, system and a way of labeling these and get them organized. And when we have that done, we'll show that to you so that uh, you can see what we've done and perhaps that'll serve you well as well. Another thing that people find really helpful is being able to make great drawer boxes using a dado set, but using only one table saw setup. Check out this video where we show you how to do what's called the quarter, 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 or also known as the half, half, half system. One setup cuts all the joints you need to make those plywood drawer boxes. You'll love it. You'll never go back to the old way again. And then check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you and for your interests. We hope you like it too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, making some sawdust.